So this is one of my favorite games, Brigandine. Uh, it won't work. I'm making a weird sound right now. Probably be fine once the game starts. Okay, PS1, DualShock 2, uh, non-DualShock controller issue. So you do select, and uh, I think it's like square, bring this menu up. Uh, they they do this uh, on, on the RetroPro docs. They'll basically say that you have to come down here, go to options, <clears throat> and uh, everything's in there, right? And but with this version, you'll notice that it's not port one controls are not there. So what you have to do, which I'm not sure why you have to do it this way, but this is what I have discovered, uh, is show other input settings we're going to change that to on then we're going to come up here save it <coughs> excuse me. it saves okay then we're going to come down here zoom and we're going to exit the game all right go back into it <coughs> This is just the way I found that works. So, I mean, if you might not need to exit the game. It's just my OCD, I guess. All right, game starting up. <coughs> All right. So then we're going to come here. <coughs> All right, so it's not in here. So you actually have to go back here, <clears throat> go to settings, go to input, go to port one binds. All right. <clears throat> so then uh, we're gonna basically configure everything. So um, we're gonna go boom and do here. here, save auto config, it says it right there, it's very exciting, back up to the quick menu, zoom, now I always just close it, and back into it, and then <clears throat> we should have access to the controls, hopefully, as long as, you know, I didn't screw it up, but this is basically how I've been fixing it. Um, and it's, I think it's just because of the version of RetroArch that I'm running. <coughs> I'm not sure why that jumps in there like that. that's done you have to go back in here and take these multi taps turn those off <clears throat> save that okay and you might need to actually bind it because I think you have to bind it after you do that so let me go ahead and bind it again Settings, input, port one binds, cross, square, select, start, up, down, left, right. 
circle, triangle, L1, R1, L2, R2. <clears throat> Save. So now it starts. <clears throat> See? Now I can move around, do what I want, select my game, no problem. So that's how you fix it. Okay? Um, the instructions on the RetroPie docs are only applicable to an older version of RetroArch from what I've seen. It's like 1.7 point something. The 1.8. Point eight, at least I know because that's what I have um, it's in another path you have to turn the <clears throat> you have to add additional options or input options to the options menu then you have to turn the multi whatever off which is that extra thing for the old PS ones that you can plug in and then after that you have to go in and map your controls and then everything has to be saved and then you, you get to close out and go back in and then it'll work. So hopefully that helps. <clears throat>